So, Soka, do you think Soka is bigger in Jamaica than Danza? No, sir. You're mad. Well, let me tell you this. All right. right. And these are facts now. Mm -hmm. Soka is not even bigger in a Trinidad than Danza. We hear this, this talk. I want to buy back my master. I want back my masters and whatever, right? But man, these masters wouldn't be worth anything if the label or whoever never put up the money to make it value. Mm -hmm. So, my feel say, probably even look like that go on. Cause when him come out and I say, me now put out him song them. You know how much artists probably hear that and I say, you know. Boom! Let's be honest podcast, modest podcast, modest podcast. Welcome back, carnival season done, work time again. Today we have Troublemaker, and that be a trouble in game, we're gonna talk about it. But before we start the show, you don't know this episode is sponsored by Happy Glow Skin Care. And it makes your skin clear, because you don't know. So the girl them clean, pan the road, ah, them something, they need them something. We're not the eczema thing. Some are followed up, dream you cannot come up. Be things are followed up, and I forget the shit right. Is it me? And then you don't know, let's be honest, we we'll have the code 10% off with my name, Jay. It's a family business, support it. Trouble, what's going on? There, bro, what's going on? Long time this fought me, you know? Yeah, man. Long time, from like 2021. Yeah. Yeah, them time, yeah, nation boss, they are still friends. I thought about that too. Is it me for start? If you let me know them for like, share, and subscribe. Trouble, make a music. No, busy, I'm subscribe. I thought about let's be honest. But that's how it goes still. That's how it goes still. I want them to then. Trouble. Oh, you get getting our music? Uh, we, we, at first they asked us, so we need the history. All right. We start off, I link up with my brother in Russian. That's how that did start. Actual Russian? Yeah. Like, Yo, Russian. Hey, Russian. Okay. You see me? Them time, them did have a little shooter on the Arden Road. And my brother and him was friends. And we did just start link up on a bridging thing, not really no music thing. Mm -hmm. You see me? It's a par. That's a par. And... Start going around the studio and thing. Before that, I guess it did start earlier than that. Yo, me used to DJ back in the day. DJ Nico was my neighbor. Them time that me buy a turntable DJ, you know DJ Nico. Yeah, so this is like a like a light skin white community or something. That's <laughs> a pattern here. I guess so. <laughs> so it's like this so we did that, you know, the two little juggling on the turntable them and thing and man them I buy two dub plate and me as a younger youth now. You see that they are, you know, play two of the dub plate them in a my party and go on like say, I me have them mm -hmm. hot dub plate. At them time they are Wayne Marshall and them dub plate they we have. But, but yeah, put that aside now. Really kind of link up with Russian and since I do the producing thing and really didn't want to get involved in it. And I said, all right, may I go to music school? Me, you know, take up myself and I go to music school. Russian said, bro, yeah, I'm mad money. I spend so much money for music school. Take that money, they invest it in a, some artists out there and thing. I said, bro, we'll work for you now, go work for me, you know. Mm. May I do this my way, you see me? And some do it and it end up when I did music school, I built a rhythm with him named Everbless for Cartel. And that really showed me, say, yeah, the thing active, you see me? I was trying to tell you you have the Everbless. That, mm. that your name? Yeah. Word. So, that. That did really kick it off and I followed him from music school and I see the song and burn up the place everywhere. And I say, yeah, you see it? It can happen. Them time there, we had been reading on Skype. Honest to God. Where? We used to link up and just talk on Skype all day long. You see me? And Bill read him and he might play two things, him send it to me, I add two things, send it back. You see me? So we had Bill read him. So that's how it starts still. So about your upbringing? Which part of Jamaica you from? Yeah, right. So St. Andrew, born and grow. You see me? Mm -hmm. so upper St. Andrew, lower St. Andrew, Central St. Andrew. Yeah, you don't know. Kingston 80s, you mean? Okay, okay. So. You see, you come from Grantsman. That's why I know he's a Kingston 80s. That was Grantsman they come from. But anyway, so high school, our primary school, high school. So I go Hillel and kind of did run it off for a little while till grades and never was a hot and thing. And my parents say, oh, you know what? I'll send you go off and go to school. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. and. Them time them we all want to play football and we get a little bus pan under 20 Jamaican thing. Word. Yeah, so we want to play ball and, and whatever. I'm one match, we just 
bro, they kick a ball and I you run cross and my knee just go so. Bam, mash up the career, you see me? And so comes we start link up at the studio now and uh, mm-hmm. you know? So which foreign did you go, Florida? Yeah, Florida. Figure, figure, figure. Yeah, man. So like, was there any pushback from your parents when you had venture into music? You know what I said, to be honest with you, not really. Um, them, them always support me to the hundred still. I may I tell you the truth, not enough parents now go really see them them youth run around the place how me I run around the outer limelight till five o'clock in the morning and just cool with it. Mm-hmm. But them did see them really love the music and my heart did dead. And to be honest, them support it. And I did a I'm sure you all could pray now. I did a try to get into another school for go do some project management thing and whatever. I said, boy, Pops, you know, so I really want to go to music school and thing. And I said, apply to the two of them. It end up now, the project management course, them, I said, boy, they don't have enough students in the class for, for run the program mm-hmm. and whatever. So it going to be like I said, Christmas, it going to start. And then I go do the interview at the music school and them accept me. So I said, well, if I that you want to just do it. Do it. And so I just I trust the process, <coughs> so, you see me? Mm-hmm. And I believe in other things. I'm not telling you a lie, bro. They support me right through. 100%. I'm I give thanks to them for that still. And I hear that good. Yeah. So now, you get the cartel song. Cartel song, I, I do the numbers. Cause that, was, that was a big, big song. To that day, a yeah. big song. Big, big song. You know what I'm saying? You did feel any, 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 any like pressure? Cause you said, well, this have the, the Russian stamp on it as well. You feel me? And him already have multiple hits with Vibes Cartel and hits outside mm. of Cartel, international hits at, by that time as well. So yeah, I said, John, how me I gonna prove myself? Is it because enough time people just see the bigger name and say, well, yeah, I'm my boy producer still, he did do that, do that, so no. Yeah, being honest, nobody never really know me for that or, or know so me even involved in that. And I don't like me, I go around that talk. Yo, I really me build that. No, me and the dog, him, him link me and say, yo, I look at rhythm the way you have, what, what they are. See if two of them look a phrase I can work in other project, you know? Mm-hmm. And we set it up and shift the key and it work. And we I say, yeah, bad. But I'm tell you, bro. Them time there, we just glad for no say cartel I sing on the rhythm. We're not even a pre <coughs> how much money it I gonna make and this and that. We just know say, yo, a cartel I sing on the rhythm. We think loud. We're active. You see me? It I gonna lead to more and more opportunities and them thing there. Remember, we just a try, you know. I know, like say, we're, we're there where we're there now. This are, mm-hmm. this are 12 years later. Them time there. We just have, if cartel sing pan, you read me, are the biggest thing them time yeah, there. Fast. No man can't tell you nothing. You see me? So I just saw it there. So, so fast forward. After that, what was like the next project where you yeah, started then this solidified my name? And this was a proud moment in my career. Um, all right, but it start. I said, I want to run some reggae, you see me? Mm-hmm. And, the reggae thing me I go do and whatever, I'm link up with this bridging named Kankara. Enough people at Jamaica never really know Kankara. But what Kankara used to do was, him used to look on the billboard mm-hmm. and basically find all of the hot song them at the time and sing them back in a reggae. Mm. And the man go cover Adele, hello. 100 million view on YouTube. All Chris Brown, Ashton, Kutcher, Chris Jenner, all them people there post this and man sang here. You know? wow. So, me and the dog now, every week we used to just link up because we could have built the reggae them. And we used to just find like all of the songs them were trend upwards into the top 10 pound billboard and sing them back in a reggae. And it's a connect. <laughs> Not there, you know, like when you look on Apelos Liku Monthly Chat, we are at the top of the list every month. People don't know who Kankara is, you yeah. see me? We cover Justin Bieber, you know, all of them type of artists yeah. there. And so it I get a little forward and it I do it like a thing, you see me? But... It not, nobody don't know, say, yo, that youth a conquer a go on in a Jamaica, you see me? Because people just watch who had, you know, Alkaline, Cartel, mm-hmm. Movada, so. But it give me a little forward still, and that allow me to can set up my studio and them thing there and start really stamp my name in other music, you see me? Yeah, and then now, uh, the next step would that be you linking up in Asian Boss? No, sir. Prior to that, now, we in the streets, we had the songs with 
conscience, we had the songs with. Because this would have been now like 2016, 2017, you see me? Yeah, 2017, my open studio at Waterhouse. Mm -hmm. Them time then now, little after that, Rygin King Abbas, Shaney Hat, you know, all of them set yeah, of the artists. Mobile, mobile yeah, search. the Mobile circuit. Hot like fire. So we are link up with all of them and then we are do song, chronic class that buzz, you see me? So that's when we start work with all of them people and we start say, so, you know, so the reggae thing kinda did a slow down, you see me? The whole of the reggae man them get them like a highlight and thing and boy I come in like people are drifting from that, that vibe them. So yo, me if we tap mm. in at the dance hall, you know, you see me, I'm build my name and get the street credit. And and I guess so that start. Nation boss would have forward now maybe about four years after that. So we've been a do we've been a do enough song with, as I say, Rygin King, Chronic Law, you know, Shaney, all of them set a man there prior to, to linking up with Nation Boss. So as a so as a producer, outside of Russia and, and you know DJ and you make a people who you grew up with, mm. you get love from other producers if you don't see you reach out to maybe use a name like a Dan. Or a Lenky, or you know, may I say, all of these top producers is, is that case where you have access to them? And if you now have access to them, you can reach out and then reach back out to you. I'm sure you have a vibe now. Enough people don't know this. And when me fall back from music school, me send Dan Carly on my resume, so I want to be an engineer up there. The dog said, Yeah, man, it could be the money. Why well, my offer do can't pay nothing, but I say, All right, here, what? May I go up there? I some I some maybe me even get for, for falling at the reggae thing. Mm -hmm. Cause I sit down and clad some Ross reggae rhythm up there. I say hey. every time open up the session, them stem out the drums, them take two M drums, them build some reggae drum kit. Yeah. You see me? I say hey. me not waste them opportunity. Yeah. So enough people not even know that, and that go on for a couple months. You see me? So I have a connection with with Dan, and him show me enough flick a thing and. I would have opened up all them sessions them and study like how him build the reggae them and thing and, and really kind of just look into it and learn from him, you know? Him is a genius when it comes to the reggae still. And them man the studio full of gear. So when you go up there, you just watch what him do and see what kind of reverb he might use. And I some learn to build reggae still. Mm -hmm. But him probably don't even know so me, did I really study it so hard, you see me? But yeah, I take it serious them time they come really want to learn. You know, as I said, I wasn't like the type of person where just fall into the hands of a vibes cartel or whatever mm -hmm. where I go show you the road and, you know. So me say, all right, I go learn the technical side and then I take time build my, my, my relationship with them. So, so outside of this team, like, I'm going to say, anybody else ever reach out to and them just show you love out the gate? Mm -hmm. Or you wasn't that person to reach out? I know I wasn't the person for reach out, but we just had to do a thing. We now wait for no man for help we out there, no man for giving a hand out there or nothing. The whole of them early time there, may I be honest, bro, I in my bedroom, may I build my rhythm them and them thing. They may not have no studio, nothing. Mm. You see me? I just do my thing and I never did a beg nobody no help. I never did a ask for nothing. No, none of that. Remember when I have my first like a reggae juggling and I say, all right, I want to go link Sizzler with it. Them money where you see me a par with him a sizzler classmate, you see me? Mm -hmm. Go up a judgment yard now. Three weeks we up there. Can't play the rhythm, nothing. Still <laughs> now. Somebody have one beer weed, I mean, one warm one weed, just have one beer weed. You don't have to even smoke, bro. Them time, them middle, they up there, me I said, no. One dog here the rhythm. Anyway, still now, frowns upon it. We just mm -hmm. wait, we turn and be patient, you see me? Cause that with some people, them don't know how to just wait them turn. End up my voice is like years later, for sure you. Mm -hmm. I never even get the song them time then. But I'm good with that. I know my time that, so I go and wait my time. You see me, I wait my turn in the line. Some man just want to skip the line and jump to the front and wonder why things don't work out. You see me? Yeah. Now, a big elephant in the room, your race, right? Mm. Did that play a part? Like, whether uh, positively or negatively, I just feel like you get the, the same fear shot as everybody. Because you don't know. Some some will say, the white man forward and everybody will give the white man a strength. And some man will say, well, the white man now get the strength in a black man genre or a black man culture. 
You mean? Which in you're, you're about in Jamaica, and I ask you, but you mm. get them on me. Like people see, uh, if, if you tell somebody, say, you know, someone come from Germany, I don't think they would have question if you come from Germany or not. But a, a beer German, everybody always call me German, German, everywhere I go, German, yo, white man. So, me was all think it's funny because Rush, them call Russian, Russian, and then them call me German. You see me? So, me mm. used to think it funny. No. I tell you, with everything, it have a pros and cons. Because enough people feel like, say, oh, oh true, my wife may have money and mm. them things there. So some people might see it as an opportunity to tax me more. You get me? Some people might see it as an opportunity to say, oh, that you tell something about it. Maybe you have some connection where could have helped them, mm -hmm. which apartheid too. So it have a little balance and ups and downs and whatever. And I guess over time people get to know me and then they realize, oh yeah, you know, so the G I wanna is still is not a foreigner, you see me? Mm -hmm. But maybe if me did do things like this earlier on in my career, it wouldn't have okay, yeah, people that, are, that mystery that to yeah, it, yeah, you yeah. see me? Because enough people even to that day I still think say me I want foreigner. I mean, I'll be honest, the first time I'm gonna see you, I'ma say you do what, um intro with Nation Boss. I said, oh, you know, my guy just fly in and it's an opportunity and just start. I didn't, I wouldn't never guess you're you're a born Jamaican. And then you don't know, so enough people, they are Jamaica for years and then adapt the culture and the sound and everything. So, True. Yeah. I wish the other, you know, white producers I do that and whatever. You get me? Obviously, out of many we are one. So we just welcome whoever in the reggae or the dance or culture or whatever. But me. We never really make that stop me or hold me back or make it be a thing, oh, yo, I'm white or, you see mm -hmm. me? Because I don't see myself as that. I just see myself as an next person in the music, you see me? Okay. So it was never, like, race was never a thing when it comes down to your music. Like. No, as I say, enough time people would have said, yo, yo, white man, dog, but no, you have it, you know? And I say, <laughs> yeah, you have to hard and so. <laughs> Bad man, it not stay so. So if I that better, we just love it, you see me? Because mm -hmm. it not dead. Obviously, you don't know the little youth them in the street now. We are park here at night time and them kind of thing. You can't tell them man, they say you know a thing for give them at the end of the night. White man, no, sir, you see me? Yeah. So we get that. You don't know, we try to bless up everybody and show them love same way still. True. No. Nature and boss. Or that other link up there go. You, you meet him like everybody meet him with, with the viral video? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was your first introduction to him. You know, some my brethren did send me the video in the morning and I think he did post it. I'm wake up and scroll through and see it and I say, oh my you tell about it. And then when I click on, on the on the clip, I realize him <coughs> tag me in a two thing prior to yeah. that, you see me? So I message him and thing and he message and oh, I love to link up with you still and thing and come in like you're the right person and so the whole thing family, you see me? But we did deal with it fast. So it was like said so that it, that conversation that happened the Sunday, by the Tuesday we voice the song. And then by the following weekend, we shoot the video and everything. And the following Tuesday, the song go out. Mm -hmm. So really 10 days from... Me too. Yeah. So, before we ask what that song did do, because we know what it do. Mm -hmm. Was that case where they try to be like, find some management type of vibe or some exclusive thing? Not really. Because... I never managed an artist or seen a benefit of that from before, you see me? Mm -hmm. Me was just a producer, I just say, yo, you know, say that song is bad and if I could uh, do that project yeah, the way I did see it, it would have uh, big, you see me? And it so happened. We voice the song. I think I think the Wednesday or the Tuesday, the same Tuesday, I on the way to the studio, I rubbed Sean, messaged me on Instagram and said, bro. She said, yeah, and the G, I link up, you know, bro. Really, would I want to do that video, you know? Me, I said, all right, you mm -hmm. want to do that video, yeah? Yeah, me depend on that, but all that budget, I got to go, because, you know, so them man, they work, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up, You see me? Yeah, bro. Because them time, they, he must still one of them. Them man, they are one of the man, them from, I start the music. For years. To that day, yeah. Me not think a month pass where I have a song in the top 10 video, them. You see me? So, we figure out, Oh, what we are going to do and how we are going to deal with it and thing and we did make it happen and it, I feel like the execution of that video there did really 
send it to the world, isn't it? People they really love that. That look they were what the dog did get. Yeah, I'm feel like that that give you a big look to as well. Yeah, for sure. But let me tell you something. To that day, I'm still feel him one of the first artists will get a real viral bus like that. You see me? We did see other things where like you have a gully bopper or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. But the way him get that bus there, eh, the man, the man never even have a YouTube page, bro. I'm gonna build a YouTube page the night before the video I, I get posted up, right? So enough people don't know. That song they never even trend, you know? Word. When me post up that, <coughs> And me stay so the next morning on YouTube now and look. Missy beer people are post it up. Video with all 500,000 view on this a man page, 200 pan this a man page. Me I said, I want this. Mm -hmm. Never realized said the, the people where we are distributed. Me I tell them, say, yo, put a white flag on the, the song so that nobody else can upload it. Yeah. Them now nah do that. Them say, it you know, go against the YouTube network with them, you know. So me, I cuss now and me and say, me, look at Nation Boss page where we just did last night. Now, last thing of the system, me can't even find it. Me start, message everybody, message everybody. And I say, yo, listen, me don't want to strike your page, but if you don't take down the video, me I go strike it. Yeah. You see me? So comes people start say, all right, I'm going to do that for about maybe 50 people in that week there. We see Nation page now start in the, in the ranking, reach up to the top. You see me? Up to that day of that video never trend. Me no know why, me no know how. But it trend in a real life. Yeah, it, it just did it everywhere, that's why it could trend. Like, yeah, it's say 500,000 over the stand, 200,000, so the views them all over the place. So what that, what, what that song you do for you you know? That if you that it's cementing you know, like, like people start recognize you as a producer. I'm saying people, I talk like people outside of music, like yeah, walk and somebody else here. So the producer. All right, let me tell you still. You see, prior to to, to linking up with Nation Boss, I did have a little style where I would find some little creative ways for, for build rhythm and video it. And I did have a little camera and thing. So like, I would go up on the beach side and put a chair in the water and I build the rhythm in the water. So I used to do them little things that mm. people used to gravitate to it and say, boom, boom, that G is creative, isn't it? And after a little while of doing that, the video them have all 100,000 views and, you yeah. know, a couple of them go viral and thing. Artists start link me and you know. So you see, prior to that, still me did a bill a name where people know me, troublemaker. When me do the nation bar song now, it's not like say humans wasn't my biggest song. I had other bigger songs than that in the reggae world. Mm -hmm. But in the dancehall space now, because I start, you know, up and down with nation and thing. And at the pandemic time, so people really are zoning from the media. Them really see. The chemistry and the dance house. Yeah, that's why I'm asking if, if it was like some management thing and one because you know they seem very like, you know, like close. Yeah, it it wasn't really a management situation. It was just a you know, a, a younger G and I say, yo, I just take that brother and I'm a wink and see. I'm say, oh he potential in him and I want him, you know. When the first day I go pick up nation down in the yard, remember my mother said to me, I'm a I'm a youngest boy, you know. Don't feed him to the lions. I'm saying, no, sir. No, I do that, man. But it's become really did have a genuine love for him. And we did want to see the people them for see the potential what this youth really could have been. Because mm -hmm. I'm not telling still. He's a talented individual, you see me? He really have a lot of talent. And we don't really find artists like him with that talent every day. You see me? Yeah. So, the fallout. Dog say, you have a bag of song put on. You know, Japanese music, all that go. We never see that one day forward. No, and to be honest with you, still, it's not, it's not really that at all. You see me? That, so you're here to share what it really is? That has stayed between me and him. All right, you see me? That. And at the end of the day, we're not coming so for highlight, no negative or nothing like mm -hmm. that. You see me? So, me can tell you, say, we have our little personal thing or whatever. And we can't agree or whatever, fine, that or that. But it was never, I put up music up until all the month where we, where we stopped link, you see me? We put up music and things like that. So it was never that kind of a situation. I would have said, months after when him start going at the media now, it maybe become that. Mm -hmm. Because 
I did have a song where we did plan for dropping at the January there, and it never dropped. Ruption never did a get the time to edit up the video and whatever, and him was kind of working on a bunch of stuff to roll out Massacre album. Mm -hmm. And so it did take a couple of months, and him said to me, Bro, I know so this is going to happen, you know, because we shot that video the same, the same day as the Yaksta and Nation Boss, which was Nation's second song. Mm -hmm. We shot the two videos, them, like half day, we shoot Yaksta and Nation, the other half, we shoot Telephone Line. The next day, half day, half day. You see me? Because we did shoot the two of them at Port Antonio. So that video they do a year before. But you don't know, you know, that time there, it's like, Dog want the song drop and whatever, and me I try to facilitate that, but at the same time, me and him not 200, so we now say eye to eye. Yeah. You know, and I like say, me I get up every single day and, and go to Ruption Yard. Ruption, I say, bro, when I get the time, me I go deal with it and thing, I'm say, all right, cool. Dog kind of maybe feel away, you see me? And then just, just fizzle out. So never like, nobody never like try to intervene and just like patch it up and, you know? Put it this way, you see how I deal with that situation and still pray. I left it where he would have make him own a decision. Yeah. Right? And in the situation I was in, and to how the thing did I play out, I said, you know what, bro? I got left the ball in your court. So if you see the value in having me as a part of your team and whatever, because whether me might be the producer or whatever, I still him name where I work under. Mm -hmm. They get me where I, where I do everything for Bill, him name. Yeah, it might build my name, but he's the face of this thing at the moment. You get me? So, me now set up the whole other situation that in, a, in a way where, bro, if you're not happy with it, call it a day, you see me? That in a, the ball in a year court. And that was his decision. So, me did feel like Maybe I'm not going to see the value in what I bring right now, but maybe it's going to play yeah, out. Yeah, give it years later. Or yeah, knows? I did hope it would have played out sooner than later, but with there, so now and me and the dog still not talk, you see me? And I nah look back, and I like to say I do this for try. Yeah. But, that, but you home, you home to a conversation, though? Put it this way. I don't no, no wish no man bad, and I don't nah hold nothing against him, but <coughs> right now we're me there. I focus on other opportunities what me have at my disposal okay. right now. You see me? So I now look for go back there so for, you know, that done got bro, that's been a enough people don't realize say a one year plus now that, you know. And we just have to talk about it now. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I don't want to run all right. When I'm going at the media and thing, I must feel away, bro. I wouldn't do that, do that to the man. Imagine if me going at the media and talk how me feel about it. And tell people some things women are like about him. You're not gonna do that because they, what other producers are gonna start, you know, maybe say same thing that me not work with him because I wouldn't want other producers mm -hmm. for to take my opinion now and farm Just opinion. Just like you don't want not, not other artists take theme opinion and exactly. Farm, yeah. Exactly. That car that apart it too. And my feel say probably even look like that go on. Cause when him come out and I say me not put out him song them, you know how much artists probably hear that and I say, Jano. Trouble sure. about one song put on for hard drive for me. No, you, we can't see it. All right, you get me? Me would have never do that to somebody. Mm, yeah. Because that can all mash up a man thing, bro. The whole over there, so I eat and, and, I, and I try to make a name, you know, you see me? Mm -hmm. So, I wouldn't want to do that to an ex man still. But that a film decision at the end of the day. I check so we did have a better understanding of that kind of thing on a different level. But I decided did there and that a film decision. So, I'm going to live with that. True. Sure. So now, this new project where you have with Joshi, mm -hmm. you guys plan it. Is, is that juggling or is that single? No, that's single. So why Joshi? Why Joshi? Why? All right. I'm build the rhythm the day I did I go link up with Joshi. And I did have the idea and thing already, but I kind of did formulate it knowing that I was going to link up with him. And I say, yo, if, if him sing on this, it I got tough. I rate Joshi from before that, but we never did really link up in a studio environment or nothing. I just see each other on the road, link up, bless each other up. Yo, I rate the work, yo, likewise trouble. When me now link up 
and him hear it, the man tell me load up the thing as it before it could have even play one time. The man said, load it up. In find all the fuss. Me and my god I pray, and my mother I pray. You mm -hmm. see me? And me I said, no man, yeah man. I eat this. Now, I did have other songs. One I did a work pun from the year start. But to be real, bro, that song I did just connect different. And it was a vibe where me did I feel the energy yeah, through what me I got through. Remember my last my laptop, all of them kind of things. Yeah, 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 to, yeah when I have to go back through all of that, but I move my studio, I lose my lease from my studio, so I say, the whole, the whole situation when I'm in a, never did so comfortable and thing. And I say, you know what? A God's plan, you see me? Mm -hmm. And then Joshi come sing that. So it does connect and everything just say, yo, you know, say, this me I work with right now. And so comes my link Shane. When Shane hear it, I say, yo, Shane, I have that song here and thing. I'm sure enough people send Shane song mm -hmm. every day. Shane link me back now. One hour with up on the phone, the song I play, Ray and Ray. Shane said, yo, bro, I'm ready to do that one here right now. It's like the whole of it just connect from the vibe there, you see me? A God's plan. So, as so comes now, the video end up forward out. Of, bro, when me see that video, they all me shocked to see how this video look after one little two week worth of planning and thing. Me I said, no, sir, this. Probably, God, properly execute. Yeah. I mean, never. We just get up and say, all right, you know what? All right, we did have some other little ideas for the video, right? I miss, I call Shane and I said, bro, let me tell you something. If our plan, it will be normal. You see, if our God's plan, we have to do something different where nobody now expect, bro. Mm -hmm. I walk the dog, I have to walk on water or something or fly. But you see, through them have that video there where I circulate, yo, pussy, me know me can't fly. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah, me? Yeah. I say, all right. I walk where I walk from water then, cause them don't run with that. You see me? I saw come. Yeah, we work with that idea there. You see me? Well, you don't think Christians would tell us uh, what a B word eh? Blasphemy. Yeah, a B word eh? Blasphemy. I'm going to see a couple of people even and say, yo, how the dog do one, one, one song God's plan and cause all bad words in it and thing. And, you know, it's, it, I think God digs the cause bad words still. I mean, when he, when he, God probably digs bad words. And then, and then what is a bad word? All that. Word. Now you make the word them. <laughs> so, that, that project there, what, what do you think about juggling? You think, you think juggling dead or you think it, it, it'll make a comeback now? All right. It's just my opinion now, right? Yeah, it's the opinion side of the, of the show now, you know? So, yeah. So the part of me start talking up, though. Yeah, let's be honest. Yeah. You see me? Let's be honest. The juggling thing, I find it difficult to put a juggling together. Mm hmm I link, I link one artist, he say, yeah, man, I love the rhythm. I link the second artist, he must say, yo, yeah, but I have my album I work on or whatever, or mm -hmm. an EP or this and that. I link the third artist, him not even get back to me. The, you know, so you get this situation now where the timing of everybody's career <coughs> uh, connect for, for my juggling goat one, like I said, May 1st. Everybody I do them different thing. You see me? The easiest person to get on a juggling now, maybe Chronic Clock, I'm not business if you put out a song every day. Yeah. But the rest of man them now, you have to work with a schedule of, of you know, them have two more songs over there, so what them don't shoot them video and then this and that and so me find it difficult to put a juggling together. Ma see a lot of people that do things where like them would have put the juggling together, but it maybe span out over three months, the song them drop all different times. Yeah. If you can do that, fine. But, but, but you know you know thing that kill the juggling though, especially if you're if you're like a uh, a party like you know that song I've been around for three months then that new one upon the same really this fall upon the juggle. I mean we can see how you can preserve it but we also can see how you can destroy it at the same time. Well me see Mac and Kyle them do it with with for them juggling and it, it go on good right and mm -hmm. then get ritical song I think first or whatever. Yo big up to them you them I do them things. Yeah man, big up to my big up to Kyle for it. Yeah and and Mac is a youth where I link with and Rate the dog. Um, 
them do it in a way where it did work. What work for them now work for the next man? So me now take up no man game plan and 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 boom, yeah, implement that into my thing, you know, bro. Yeah. Cause that's your plan and it might work one time, but who's to say? Me, I do what me feel best for my career and me I make my decision then. You see me? So I might see a man I do something and I might say, yo, you know, say that's a good idea. Fine, nothing wrong with that. But when that work out for them, suppose me do that now and none of the song them not hit and the whole thing, I spent three months and the whole thing fizzle out to nothing. Mm-hmm. You see me? Them, them find a good rhythm, them get some good song and it end up that everything did work. You get that when the stars are aligned, you see me? So, but it, it don't seem to be happening for everybody. Yeah. The people them with me know and respect for them juggling. Them not not juggling right now. Chimney records, all of them, you know? It's it difficult for them to put these types of, of, of projects together. So, so, so you, you just run around with just the singles, basically. I think where me there right now, I say if, if I have a rhythm and somebody else like the rhythm and want to voice on that rhythm, I will maybe pitch it to some artists or whatever. And if you can keep it small, but I say, Yo, me I go voice 10 artists per one rhythm. It's not really my motive at the moment. So your producer, I don't feel like I'm not at risk with like this whole producer culture. I don't have to pay somebody for, for voice for you know, and pay for the video. Like where do you know where that started from? Is that that's been a thing in, in dance culture? Cause I don't know. Cause I, is that is that the producer become the label? Well, but we are labels, right? So Back in the day when you used to have Madhouse and you used to have um, shocking vibes and all of these different labels, what they were doing was they were doing jugglings, but they were also kind of overseeing the artist's career. And then they would take those songs now or those jugglings and then shop it to a VP or a green sleeves or whatever. Mm-hmm. Even Dan Carleon was, was more on the reggae side of that same scene there. You get me? I guess the formula stay the same where we're still the labels, but the music now kind of, the platforms are different, how it's being distributed and how the people are receiving the music. Mm-hmm. So we now take a juggling and, all right, if me could I take a juggling now and compile 10 songs and VP, I got give me 50 grand fee, maybe it would have worked it, but that not happening now, right? So back then when they were doing that, that was what they would have done. Okay. You get me? That is definitely not happening now. You get some call from some of them record label, yeah? them link me, yo, interested for buy Nation Bar song. When you hear what he must say to me, me I want that. You can't argue. You could never. You get me? I mean, me I tell you the truth, the man they might call, yo, we want buy Nation Bar song, we have two grand. Two grand? Bad man. No, sir. Where two grand I go? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, 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 can't even, video. that can't even that can't pay for the video, that can't do nothing. You see me? So we get f- for realize you know, we're in a time where what we have is valuable because people are more leaning towards one, the timing of when they want they want their music to drop right up. Right now. You get me? So you as an independent label or producer or whatever, you're able to facilitate that. I can link up with whosoever and tomorrow the song can be a road, mm-hmm. right? It never used to be like that. That is what the people them like from our culture and our music. It can move fast and them, them digest the music fast and them appreciate that. So anything you know? that put the, pro, um, the, the producer at risk? It does, for sure. And then now the splits, how the split go? Like, if you vice a song, do you want the song out, right? It, it depends on, on the agreement where you and the, the people them have. All right, so what, what, what is the basic template? I think the basic template, and correct me if I'm wrong, was 50% to the songwriter, 50% to the producer? That is on the publishing side. Okay. Right? So you Explain have... what publishing and masters are themselves for me. It's an education class now, because right. I'm thinking I don't read it. No. So you have mechanical rights and publishing rights. Mechanical at the radio place? No, the publishing comes from the radio place okay. and also a percentage of the, the um, streaming services as well. Right, mm-hmm. because those are considered radio. Like you know, Pandora is a radio station. Okay. You know, so there's a percentage of it that end up your 
your PRO, which is your performing rights organization, will collect that, right? And that is typically split up between the composers of the music and the songwriters. So if two people are listed as songwriters and two people are composers, your BMI or your ASCAP, which is your PRO, will collect that, or your publisher, and they will distribute that funds. Mm -hmm. You have your mechanical rights now, which is from the majority of your Apple Music and Spotify streaming revenue and your YouTube revenue. You will have times where an artist will say, yo, may I give you a song, you know, give me, give me a thousand dollar. And you pay him the thousand dollar and the song is yours. You get me? Mm -hmm. You have another time where you might link up with, I think Cartel was one of the first people I personally know in Jamaica to, to, to be doing that where him would have want a percentage of him streaming revenue. Right? Regardless, of, regardless of APM. Regardless. Mm -hmm. That was him, and that is from when everybody had Gijani Wanda sang them from way back. May I hear that? From 2011. Mm -hmm. He was one of the first people, me personally, know if he had do that. So even if him say, yo, yeah, line up 500,000, I'm more than 50% time sang to. You see me? But his numbers were incredible. So probably it would have worked it at yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. All right, you say you mentioned you give a man thousand and you own the song. Now, when you say you own the song, let's say that song you have bust now, like real bust. It's soundtrack, you know, you have licensing deal, Nike want to use it, Black Panther 5 want to use it, Star Wars 100 want to use it. Mm. That artist is entitled to nothing. We see it happen already. Mm. We see it happen. And in fairness, what you would want to ideally happen at that moment, you know, right? But it is tricky because. Say, for instance, the, the song Boss. The one song where me know where something like that happened was Conscience Broke Off Your Back. Mm -hmm. Become one big song, was 100 million stream and one bagger thing, right? Conscience one back the song now and then the, the producer or whatever said, well, the label for buy back the song from him. Mm -hmm. And now the song is worth a lot of money to him. So he want a lot of money for it. So we see these kind of situations and and and... It happens. Ideally, you would you would want to say, well, bad man, all right, let's just organize a split and whatever and fine. But, but I don't think that's fair either. It's not fair because you might have spent, say for instance, I did voice five conscience songs that year and one blow up, but I did spend $2 million and the rest are sang them and whatever. We're never gonna. We're never really gonna wear. The one song now where me get where I bust up the place, you want to take it back and sweep it away from me. When that song, there may be a hole up the whole label, you get me? Yeah, which is all yeah, yeah. yeah, labels that's work. Keep, like, lights on, keep on. Exactly. So at the end of the day, you are investing a lot of products, but you will might know, say, yo, this and that product is the two best-selling ones. Yeah. And you don't want to lose those, those assets, you get me? So. I agree. I just feel like, Artists for us value them them art more. If so, you know what I mean? so here what, right? We just are reason it out now. Because these are the conversations that don't happen mm -hmm. when you're working with artists. But hypothetically now, right? May I may I reason it out with you? Me and the artist link up and I say, yo, bad man, rate that song what we do and blah blah blah. How we can work it out. The artist say, yo. We well, shoot a bad video, blah, blah, blah. Me, I put up 50% of the money. You put up 50% and we split it. So mm -hmm. it eased the pressure off of the producer. And then you, the two of you share the, the risk. You get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes so sense. if it, so if it blow up now, you have an understanding. Say, yo, well, the two of we, you go 50-50 on it, right? But a lot of the time, <coughs> the artists are not doing that. So you now take up your money. Him don't know where you are get your 500,000 figure link whichever video director and whatever and shoot video and then our next two, three hundred thousand pound promotion. And the, the streets, yeah. I, I, you get I me? Link the purse, yeah, I link so that. you spend a million dollar upon a song now. The song, the song blow up. When my link you and say, yo, I want about that. It now yeah, going, and to promote song. a song and, and talking from like their own people who do these things, especially in a rap music, it takes a lot of money. Like for promote a song, you know, I'm going to give you an example. Promote a song in Atlanta, just a city of Atlanta, you look for at least 150,000 years. And of that course. might sound ludicrous to people who are here. This, them billboard that we see, them dancers that they put on Times Square, that's like 20 grand. 
just for probably one day. Like it's 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 not cheap. It is it's not. It's really not cheap. So sometimes when you see the labels them, I uh, take certain control and I say, oh, you can't put out that song, yeah. Uh, because we don't really have much leverage, number one, because the numbers them don't much. And then on top of it, uh, they must spend their money. And they have more artists to spend upon as well. So it's a risk. Next. But hold on, oh, Fred, make we, make we point out one more thing in the argument, all right? Because mm -hmm. this is a conversation where we could have talked about it for a long time, but I just said this. Majority of the time, when those situations happen, we see it happen with like Meek Mill mm -hmm. and Rick Ross and whatever. Yo, we hear this, this talk. I want to buy back my master. I want back my masters and whatever, right? But man, these masters wouldn't be worth anything if the label or whoever never put up the money to make it value mm -hmm. something. You get me? So a lot of the time, it's easy for people to say that. But at the end of the day, if me and you start a business and you, your father and you say, yo, me have a bad idea and thing, I'm going to say, all right, free here, what? Me put up the money. You have a bad idea. We put up the money, have we? You can't tell me now when the thing shut down the line, say, yo, me not involved anymore and you own the whole thing. Yeah, that, in a sense. That, that not going to work. You get me? So a lot of the time we hear this talk about buyback masters. And, and, and it, even with even not me, me and Rick Cross and all them, some of them, bro. Bro, have you ever seen these guys at, at a normal airport? No. It's 20000 for the basic price to go up on a private jet. Exactly. You get me? Them things are really, really, really expensive. And if I think them advanced, it's, it's a loan. So enough time we'll see it, you might say, oh, that, them, them people are thief and whatnot. But it's it deeper than the music sometimes. Of course, it is. And, and you have to value other people who are investing into the thing because they play a very important role. You see me? And maybe I guess for, for finalize that topic here, it's conversations you need to have before the thing take off. Mm -hmm. You see me? You don't have this conversation after because you're going to have less leverage for, 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 sure. for bargain. So. Now, Afrobeat, right? You think Afrobeat like fully surpassed dancer? At the moment? Yeah. It, it is definitely, well, there's more viewership on it, yes. Mm -hmm. There's no it's not my opinion that it is facts, you see me? Okay. There's more listeners and viewership towards Afrobeat right now than dancer. All right, so do do, do you think it's it's the sound? What am I lead with it? Is do you think it's just about the backing now? Um what, what do you think what make them all lead? And I mean it's not a competition, but at the same time, no, not. you don't know a black people music, you see me? And we just want to see what they might do, but we did I do before? I'm probably not do anymore. Like, we don't know. All right. Everything go hand in hand, right? Mm -hmm. So, them finer sound, it's a very good sound. Very similar sound to dance. Huh? Very similar sound, but that sound now is going to gravitate because of the attention that it is getting. It is going to gravitate the support. Mm -hmm. If Remember, you know, them would have do it and it only take the first 10 people for society to work, you know, and then everybody else run come in now, you know. Mm -hmm. That that come in like even my career. When me I start out, no man never believes so me I want bad producer till the first two you would find some bad song for me rhythm. And then everybody now I say, yo, you know, say rhythm bad for true dog. I find a song for your rhythm. And then two more artists, you get me? I saw the Afrobeat thing start, you know. It start <coughs> out, they might do them thing. And then all of a sudden now they have a global support of this music. Yeah. It never starts out with the whole of the people that support it and they never have the music. You get me? So you reach a situation now where you have major labels are spending millions of dollars on these songs. Dance hall don't have that. I can't tell you. Who we have at the label them right now? Skilly Bay. Well, me I said though. Good point. But is it a case now where the labels must say, here what? We cannot invest this type of money and it now go no way. Because look, even the names that we gonna call now, you say probably Skilly Bang. Yeah. You gotta say Shensia. Shensia. Um kind of book right now. But Jada King, the men, men are fair are you, but I think she's signed to. Coffee. Coffee. What, what whatever, yeah. Yeah. The budget 
We are spent on these songs, the videos, the promotion. Uh, the labels in my recoup, that's the big question. So now, if you go to know, you say, well, boy, I'm going to take the best from Jamaica, and boy, I'm a brook. <laughs> Me and the red. What am I going to do? Right now, I'm going to say, when me feel go wrong, I'm going to tell you say this, mm -hmm. is that Jamaica never do the proper education. Because if they use rap music, right? Rap music is probably like 50 years old, if so much. Mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's a jerk, it's a little win. If it's a little win, it's a bird man. Mm -hmm. Bird man is an artist, but bird man understand the business. And a bird man called Universal right now, I say, I need 200 million, I have the next biggest artist. Universal has half listen. Mm -hmm. So when we did that, they know. Champagne around the place, Shaggy around the place. We never get no imprints. We never get no big budget. I just, when I say I'm gonna think for themselves, but I just don't think they knew what to do. You see me? If you got young artists, little dirt of artists underneath him. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, King Van. Make sure King, some of King Van money I go. If I even find that fee, everything with them. So no man in America now gonna bring on no artist from the state that that boy yo. This is my artist. There is paperwork. Even at a producer culture, yeah. you can say JD, um, Bow Wow, them, Usher, and Rick before Ross, Mink, Mink, exactly. Mink, 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 so so yeah. all of them, them, them do the business. So even I'm like, like one tequila supposed to be like what top ten richest Jamaican ever, bro. If you really think about it, so I feel like the business we not have, and if Afrobeat don't do the same thing, we're burning about them step up and turn A and R and turn exec, and the same thing gonna happen because the people who write these checks, you walk past them. I'm um, at Times Square every day. You don't know what says them. If if I never like just was a nerd and love research, I would have never known that Clive Davis literally like control 80% of music. Cause mm -hmm. he'd walk past him thinking he say he must some this and that. And all they wanna do is, oh you make good rap music? Alright, then some money, yeah. Find some more artists. Alright. You have to prove the concept first. As mm -hmm. as I said a while ago. After you get the first 10 people that believe in the thing. Everybody else will believe in it, right? What that means is now, as an artist or a producer, like me personally, I have to have a whole heap of belief in myself to feel say me can take up two, three artists, find the song them, get them a road, blah, 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 and send them to the world, right? Mm -hmm. You know how much people was interested in Nation Boss when him get a hit song? Them never believe in a nation boss before that. True. You get me? You know how much young youth out there full of talent just like nation boss or whatever, but nobody now believe in them. So, when you now prove the concept, you would have expect, say, a man like, the name them what you call, we now call them back, but them would have see, say, yo, you know, say, them youth have something we can work and whatever and we are going really invest in them, we'll have some, some budget and we'll also have the relationship them with the people mm -hmm. who can finance it too. And send some more people are foreign, you see me? And get them in on some bigger contract where them can prove themselves. And if it, it's up to a man at that point, cause all you want to do is just give them the opportunity, you know, right? It's mm -hmm. not like, say, the whole of them people that we are talking about, whether Drake or Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne was not there every day writing Drake songs and making sure that he is going to the studio <coughs> on time. Mm -hmm. Drake prove himself. You see me? A whole heap of artists where Lil Wayne signed, we're not going to know it. That's true. That's, that's so true. You get me? So, like what we did, I say, you are, you are bank on, on one of them things, you are going to invest in a whole heap of songs or a whole heap of artists or whatever, and you hope so. One of them really break through. Mm -hmm. You get me? <laughs> Yo, I'm not telling you a lie still. If we did have a proper record label here, it would have really helped the culture. Yeah, but what may I said, I think say and we, we can't had the opportunity. No, I think we had the opportunity and we dropped the ball. That's what I'm saying. Because if right now, Davido, Wizkid, uh, we next one named Playboy, not for them over there. Thames. If them person watch you know, we need something over there, say, you know. We need a Def Jam, Nigeria. Def Jam, I have to look on the numbers and say, well, yo, this shit makes sense. So when we have shampoo like a platinum like it's nothing, mm -hmm. Shaggy has a 10 million worldwide. Number one song, like pan the billboard. When I talk, pan the billboard, hot RB, rap, this and that. Number one. And then now we lose the leverage, you know. Nobody know what hear you. It's like a baller. You get your biggest contract for your best season. You can't do fuck the next season, you know. 
But you have to go see through that three years that we used to give me 100,000 every week. Me, me agree to some extent, you know. So it's just leverage at the time. But we can't just pinpoint it on the artists them alone. No, I'm not pinpointing on the artists, you know. We did also have a lot of labels in Jamaica at the time, too. Mm -hmm. That them never did want to expose too much people one time. Them are hold back certain artists and you get me? Enough crabbing a barrel mentality in Jamaica, same way to that day. No feel said this just that recently. This yeah. are going from, from way back. You get me? So Yeah, what well, 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 that little thing the way is like a man no one rich, he more richer than you. You know one that's rich for no say that's rich, you know. That's one who say me above you. Tell me when last you see a collaboration in a Jamaica where get like a big break. When you say big break, what our next argument to me forgot to know what is a hit. But when you say big break, how far are we talking? The last one me can tell you what me say, right? Was Protege and Chronics. Who knows? Mm, big break. Me talk collaboration, you know. We not talk about a, a, a skin get a gunman shift or a skilly get a crocodile teeth. Me talk a collaboration song. The man them no not even want to collaborate nowadays, bro. Me, me, me disagree. When you look on the, the, the Spanish, I see them in an interview the other day, me I watch, right? With some Spanish executives and them I say, them have a problem where when them go to the radio station and they're saying, like, say for instance, the three away or the four away they are so they're on a big Spanish song, have 500 million mm -hmm. views, right? When me go to the record label now, and me I say, yo, well, this is my next song. They're saying, but you already have two or three of these other songs that we already have on the radio. So mm -hmm. they have a problem that they don't know which artist yeah, they yeah. even play. You get me? Jamaica now and say, yo, we not let you nobody. But, but I mean, we collab, Mr. Nuff, what do you hear my collab? Mr. King and Kraft, Mr. Me I talk about collab with a crossover. Oh, crossover. It's been a me? minute, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. The last collaboration, as me say, a chronic song, Protégé, who knows? That song there, I want big song. That's and it's, and, and hit. You see me? Probably wap wap, but nobody can consider the other youth on it. Me, me, me never know nothing about that youth there. Till me really have to research and figure out what I go on, you see me? <laughs> Where's he now? Where him come from? The the dog fought from? No, something? no, no. It's a Jamaican dog. It's a Jamaican Yeah, yeah I think well, I'm still different. Yo. FS or something like that. Big up yourself, but we never know, you uh, see me, him as part of that. Yeah, that's an that's a, that's a unfair one, but. Right, next next thing. No, before we go to sir. Soka. Do you think Soka is bigger in Jamaica than Danza? No, sir. You're mad. Well, let me tell you this. Nah, right? Right. And this are facts now. Mm -hmm. Soka is not even bigger in a Trinidad than dance hall. Okay. Right? And me never got Trinidad, but everybody tell me that. Mm -hmm. From Russian, my distribution partner who live at Trinidad, who work with him, him there right now with Marshall and Kess and the whole of it. You get me? Soka only playing as Soka season. You know? Okay, so it's in season now. Huh? Yeah. So let me ask you this though. Do you think if I love Soka, and Sans keep on the same day. The two of them are going to and it are going to be two separate crowd. Okay. All right. But I, I just want to hear from you. I, I, I think the same thing, but... The two of them are going to I think what we can agree upon is that Soka get more support in dance hall. Soka get a lot of support, yes. But no, you know what? Show me a Soka party where you have the people that are going five, six nights a week. Bro, when you go up to on Mondays, you know, it ram every Monday, you know. You mm -hmm. never go up to Monday. Big up to Boom Boom. Big up Boom Boom. Yeah, but I said, but at one time for yeah, the year. That's season. That's season. You show me three hundred people where I go to a soccer party every week. You cannot do that. No. This is not happening. There is no three hundred people that I go to a soccer party every Wednesday and listen soccer music. Every Wednesday, three hundred. Me that say Three hundred here. Show me them then, no. Them it have it happen, but them are gonna play dance all in there. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. You see me? And to be honest with you, I really appreciate soca music, but I it's not my favorite music. Yeah, mine either. Me, me not really gel with that music there. You see me? Yeah, but I mean, reason I do want to clarify that because not people think soca music, but honestly, soca music is a baby genre. No disrespect to soca. No, you see no me? Disrespect. Love the genre. Full of happiness and joy, bring on the woman and them. But baby, John, I don't think soca. There's there's five soca songs that went platinum. I, I don't know. But let me tell you this. I don't know. Free, right? We have to give credit. We credit due. Mm -hmm. You see, Marshall and 
some of these soca artists, they're on another level compared to some of our dance artists. Somebody told me that Marshall Montana is probably probably the biggest artist out of the Caribbean. It's possible. The man sold out. Barclays? Barclays, must be what, two, three nights in a row. What? My distribution, you, so partner, my distribution partner, as I said, him work closely as part of them team and whatever. And when he might tell me the man have, the man have people are para, him, parachute into the stadium, stunt double, all kind of thing. We not ask to do them kind mm. of thing. You know how much it costs for put on something like that in a stadium? When last we see an artist can full up a stadium in Jamaica, other than Buju. And the Buju thing you is kind of... That come from being in prison, prison and one yeah. bag or something, you know? Big excitement behind it. If a man them said they might go down a stadium for, for, for show up for one man, the place may be empty. Or they want to keep it in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Bernard boy can't count, bro. That's a world yeah. star, you see me? Yeah, I think Bernard got to do a stadium now in New York. He already do MSG. He might do a stadium now. Not stadium. Stadium at the Bernard Yeah, stadium. Stadium. Hmm? Yeah, what, what, what do you consider a hit? Because here we go on now. Dance all, I'm a bit not say this, and I'm going to call out some people. I think Winford Williams is a man who can probably put this together. Johnny Wonder. We need an actual chart that is respected. You see me? Sadly, we don't have the billboard chart as we used to, but we need a chart where we can say, listen, this is a hit song. Whether you like it or not, it went on this chart, it was a hit. If it was a hit for one week, we don't care. It was still a hit. Because I get a billboard so you can't tell me I'm in a hit. But they're on the billboard. Yeah. Hot 100, you feel me? Yeah. What is that chart? Because it, what is that I'm a hit? What makes a song a hit in Jamaica? There's not a chart. We don't for the ER chart. We're use an unsealed chart. If a YouTube channel, so YouTube can be manipulated. What makes a song a hit song? Is that is a technical question, right? Because it is in relation to the artist. So, for instance, if you are Sean Paul, your hit is going to be different than Skeng's hit. Oh, glad you just fucking said that shit. Right? I, I was telling them that too. So, it is definitely in relation to the artist and where he's at in his career. Mm-hmm. Now, a hit song is going to propel the artist from this point in his career to this point in his career. And it is, so we've seen hit songs and, and in locally, a hit song, you're going to see it getting the numbers on YouTube. You're going to see it translating over to Spotify. You're going to see it translating over to Apple Music and whatever, right? Not much really translate over there though. It might not be much, but it is still translating. So when you say what is a hit song now, I mean the numbers, you, you can watch that, but Skilly Bang numbers is going to be different than critical numbers. It don't mean that critical don't have a hit song. You mm-hmm. get me? So there's no standard <coughs> to it. Me now go sit down here and say, we cannot justify that. No, I think we need a standard though, because not because your song play in you know, a certain C means it's a hit song. Mm-hmm. Jamaica is too small for us to say, I'm on Hatta Kingston or I'm on Hatta Moby. But you are going to see. For instance, my Apple Music artist um, app mm-hmm. will show me you now where the song is trending, what what number it is in each country and whatever. And that is going to kind of verify whether the song is a hit song or not. Mm-hmm. Me remember when Shensia did the lighter, right? What you say? It's not a hit song, it's a, it's a hit song to me. That song, you know. Every week, them a post up, it a trend in a um, Apple Music, me a talk mm-hmm. now, you know, right? Number one in a St. Lucia, number one a Guyana, number one a Barbados, number... No, but let me see, you have some songs that are undisputed hits. Yeah. But for, for, the, for the man... I right, let me give you an example. I don't want to bring you nobody, you know. Try now. J- J- give me a song now. We are on the streets, but do... All right, Silk Boss, perfect. Why do you want to tell me Silk Boss now, boss? I say, why? He say... And he's a DJ, a big DJ as well. He said, Silk Boss not playing a dance. And I said, but well, Silk Boss not boss? And Silk Boss really don't play a dance. I really don't hear Silk Boss as much. And someone don't play a dance just because they don't go to the dances. Because Bounty Killer playing a dance. Let me tell you that shit right now. You have some new Bounty Killer we play every single night. But it not playing nowhere else at the but moment. But it not playing nowhere else. So we have to say, 
killer hit then because killer play in a dance and still boss not play in a dance. So we need to have a chart where we are say, listen, from the song, go up on that chart, yeah. This is not a bio chart, this is a fear chart. Man, you know, I do the metric with that. So you go get the, the players them from zip or the request them or the, the on demand streams. I don't know. Or we can say this is our Jamaican chart and we're going to respect it. If you see a song on this, that song you yes. hit. Yeah. What the yeah. artist manager see me, he say, oh, you know the artist say I'm going number one every week. We, we're in our mouse. In mother. In WhatsApp broadcast, I'm with the number one day. And, and when, when him tell me the artist name, I say, you know, so I see the artist name after true, but I don't know what song, but I see me in both the places, but I don't know the song. Right now, I can tell you this, right? In a Jamaica, yeah, so, mm -hmm. the people them have YouTube trending as what is Bible. Okay. Right? And me think it, it not really add up, but at the end of the day, I that the people them I work with, you know. Because when a man got number one trending, or even if he's going at the top ten trending, you know, you cannot chat to that man there again, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, she say, Matt, right now I'm a trend. Now, the numbers maybe not really so, so great, you see me? But the end of the day, to him, so it's, it's what matters to a man still, you know. You, you say you want a chat, really, I don't business. From the song, from me put out a song and it, I go on good. If it reach on the billboard chart, I jump and touch a light wire, you see me? Yeah. Cause them time they know you know say, yeah, man, want a real piece of food as a as a collect. But what we are doing? I argue over a chart in a Jamaica where the end of the day, the biggest song on the chart still probably not really. Now here we offer that. Now offer that and I feel like this I want to turn them a dance or tech. I'm too much satisfied when me say it again. I think I think Movado. Vibes cartel era. Well, not even that. Post the clash, mm -hmm. really fuck up the youths. Their mind, especially with, with cartel influence. The cartel are the best and the worst thing. I'm to dance all because cartel changed the bar of success. Yeah. Cartel changed the bar to yo you are on your idea, good brother. When me I grew up and I watch BET and I watch MTV, TRL, you name it, VH1. If you at a yard, you at a broad. Cartel make it as you at your say that's at your say, bro. You don't need to you don't need to give a fuck. So when the youth them was a boom now, that though, because Cartel even when he was extremely popular in Jamaica, mm -hmm. his songs were still popular worldwide. But where right was the, but where was the presence worldwide? You can't show me a, a vibes cartel clip of him performing in front of fifty thousand. You people, can't. Right? But that don't mean that the music not playing all over the world because yeah, it was. But again, we are talking about the physical. So when a man can go to the woman and say, all right, then we have a song at on TikTok where it depends on the world. Him does care, him more care for no say at in the streets. And when him walk, 100 people see him and say, yo, I love your song and whatever. That no. wasn't a metric of success. No, man. Cartel, cartel was getting sales. You see, when even me did have some cartel song and whatever, mm -hmm. with Russian and thing, and yeah, look and yeah, see where people are buying this. Nobody at Jamaica no have no. no Credit card I buy them song upon iTunes. But the youth, the them, the youth, them who are getting influence, do they know that? That a me I talk about, you know. Me I talk about what you are see with your eye. So when me now, this I say, eh, I'm not for big like Sean Paul. I'm not for you go tour your son, tour this. So even you, them, they are far enough. A visa, a green card, or oh, run off, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen them take the time and say, let's do a promo tour? Let's rent an RV, let's connect with some promoters. Let's go outside of the diaspora. Let's go Kansas City. Let's go Mississippi. Go get some new the fans. The last person me used to do that. Shensia. She did that? Yeah, she was really on some free show shit. Getting acquainted sure. with the fans. Chronix was the last person me see. All right. I mean, in fairness, him did rent a tour bus and dread and terrible and whatever. And You know? I don't know if, if a label was involved in... in mm -hmm. Facilitating that or whatever, but yo, the reggae man, them at one at a time, you know, me not go wrong, it, bro. Me give them credit, man. When them did a roll out, them thing, them do it properly. We don't really see no bag of dance hall artists a roll out how them roll out them music, bro. Mm -hmm. The man, them do them thing, them put together them project, them properly, them do album and then them go tour them album and them thing there. Me not see no dance hall artists a go tour an album. We, we, we put out what about three, four solid album or whatever. Well, solid to the 
to the culture, yeah. right? Gentia have album, Massacre have album. Me not see them I put together a tour and say, yo, all right, this are the tour for the album. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then next year now, me I got drop my next album and me I got tour that one there. You see me? Me not see that. Them still just uh, go and tour them hot song. You get yeah, me? Yeah, Fox. Fox. Um, which, which tour do you go? I don't know Gaga my artist. Gaga sing almost every song after the album. All right. Almost every single song. Gang is a man now. When he got tour the album, he will give you the other couple of hits them or whatever. Mr. Protégé do the same thing too. Give you a couple of other hits and things. But you're not going to get the... It's not strictly the best, you know. Mm-hmm. He might tour whatever the album is. You see me? If you want strictly the best... You, Catch up on a summer fest. Yeah. Or All right. Or you get me? A festival or whatever. So, that, yeah, I mean, we don't really see no artists that do that. But they don't structure them things towards that anyway. Because most of them artists say they don't make music for tour. Mm. You see me? That, that, that is facts right around the clock in a Jamaica. They're not making, they're making songs for hot. Yeah. Not for tour. So, that man try to taste the metric change. I don't mean I try to tell you, so when you have to tell me, say cartel, you mean think cartel, like purposely say, yo, Ray, I got to do this. Because I'm cartel, they have him adverse to him, the band from enough countries. Could you go America, him, could you go England? Him full of hits, though, right? Cool. So, so and that, you, all right, so, so when you see it, all right, I'm glad you said that. Now you just say, I got you two training, say, me, Java, Valiant. Valiant full of hits? Yeah. Uh, Valiant, Valiant, with all the one, two, three, four, five, six, right, seven, right probably now. eight, that's a song featuring him, mm-hmm. and then nine, ten. So yeah. when him say that now, if him not really look and say, you know what, this not enough. This not enough. A time for take on some new challenge. A time for go in an audience when nobody don't know we. And by the time we left the stage, they more want to know who was that guy. You have someone now perform certain places because they must see my fan base and big over there, so, you know. All right. That's a fuck, you know. Let, let's, let's talk about this now. Come really, I look deep into the conversation and, and uh, made it valiant, hot in Jamaica, right? Mm-hmm. To a label now, he might go prove him value when maybe he can prove him value right now with him numbers, but he might go really prove him value when the song is not just one, two, three, four upon the Jamaican trending YouTube, mm-hmm. right? Now, a lot of artists have a hard time finding the balance in touring and also staying current. Right? Uh, I think it's very unfair for Jamaican artists. You have to have a strong team to do that. May I tell you the truth? You have to have a solid team. Where you know, say, when you're up on the road, you have all your camera crew up on the road with you, all them kind of things that you have still put out the, your voice to sing them, you have shoot the video. Yeah, them. I, think, well, I think that's just inhumane. No, sir. Who, who you ever said that? What do you mean? The reggaeton artist, them. All right, you have a reggaeton artist. In the father Jamaica come shoot a video one time named Ozuna. Right? Yeah, I know. When you look on that man, the visuals, you know, the man shoot video at Japan, the man shoot video everywhere. Me say, I'll go now shoot video at Morocco in a hot air balloon. You see me? Mm-hmm. Why? Who? Gonna. Yeah. Why must he gonna go Morocco go shoot a video when him or, or when him there at Dubai or with whichever place? Mm. Why she not see another video at Dubai when she there over there so I, I, I do show? You see me? Yeah, but well, hold, but no, me I talk about who you know, they on tour international. international Protege do it. I see relevant. Well, I see a current I mean? Well, nah, bro. Well, put it that's this that way. is unfair to artists. <laughs> very, very unfair. Cause Drake not do that. Drake they on tour, but that's they on tour. Chris Brown not do that neither. Huh? But I'm saying only in a dance hall, you have to stay current. Bro, all right, skeng. Bro, I'm going to tell Mr. Skeng not. I say, why? I say, look at me, she's not probably six months good. Yeah, but Frey, you can't take up everybody talk and use it as gospel. No, man. Them, them money are serious. Chatter road, no, bro. man, them serious, man. Them all really right. serious. Listen to me. The genre is too fast. Listen to me. It's way too fast. You see people where they are road attack, mm-hmm. and I tell you, whoever tell you that and whatever. Enough people. Enough people. I think, I, I think it's a general consensus. I'm being honest with you. A general consensus that skin is not hot? Wow. 
that that the, the younger population that, yes all right Skank let's just i don't have that example you, did, when when they make the talk say don't you lazy you think don't you did lazy if an artist drops six songs a year is enough song you know six singles that's a lot of songs good just think about that six songs let me tell you something right now enough people have a lot to say right mm -hmm. i'm sure everybody when them did a talk and i said don't you lazy and whatever what they uh, in, in bring one family situation mm -hmm. to the forefront. Enough man feel fooling at themselves, brother. Believe me. Because when a man go through in personal struggle and him not put it out there to the world as an artist, man have a talk about, yo, you're lazy and you're this and you're that. Mm -hmm. Enough man have to swallow them pride and take back that thought there. You see me? Because you don't know what a man have go through. That's true. Skeng, right now, all right. The man just run off from last year up to right now. Busy every day, every night. The man a fly, the man a this, the man a that. The, the, I'm sure Skeng, I don't see Skeng post one picture. I'm just getting yeah, the youth what they are. All them kind of thing there. I see, see one little picture post a dog there in a one, one hotel with him family. Bro, the man must want a weekend for can. I never said no, what I'm but I'm But you. we know as the, as, as the audience, we can't pressure the man say, him not hot. Are you crazy, bro? If Skeng no, drop, drop a song tomorrow, he's... But number one tomorrow. I disagree. All right. Well, if you wholeheartedly not... disagree, I'm telling you, these people they if work the with a bad, timeline. Listen, if the song bad, if the song bad, mm -hmm. and the video bad, and everybody run with the song, you can't stop that. All right. Cool. Agree, I'm I'm glad. Disagree. I'm glad you said that. Sometimes mm. a song will not bad, but just because you have that that current there, that heat there, the song bust. True. Facts. Of course. But you see, once you lose that, bro, a man will go back and say, you must have a fuck with you to sing. I'm never there amends it. I tell you, Jamaicans, we want the next best thing. So I'll show you a vibe now, right? When Nation Boss did run off the whole of that year they went in bus, every single time after humans never got trending, but after that, every, every month we have the number one trending song, right? From him and Chronic Law, Airplane Mode, to him and Yaksta, whatever, whatever. When the flame kind of cool down now, me I try to show the dog, say, bro, don't take that as you're not hot enough. Don't take that as you're not relevant or your thing is not working. It is working, mm -hmm. right? But what you need to do now is, lucky, I'm formulate what is going to be the next step of your career. Don't take my silence as, yo, me nah, do nothing, me lazy or whatever. Because most of the time, if... Like with me, when me go quiet and me lock in, you best believe me I go forward with something, right? So who did they are chat? Me no response who want chat. Them always I go talk, right? When me lock in now and me a hustle and me a really put all of my energy into this, it's because me not a time for I show everybody out there what me I do every day, all day long. And, and sometimes people need to understand and respect that. An artist is finding the next thing that him going Launch out with yeah, that. Yeah, can be, bro. You see I, me? I, I, I agree with you, but you are the next thing too. Not for these artists. Another artist, artist we we'll see, where balance themselves really well across the, 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 the years is Massacre. When him put out a song, he the behind the song. Mm -hmm. Right? When I say him at the talk of the town every day, no, he's not. But you know why? But he's consistently he, good every single time he put out a song. I have fans, I have actual fans. But he, but him take the time and build it. Him I got clutch back when him when him work on him album. Look how long him take for put that album there together. No people. But in their job songs, because of course their job songs within that, that album. But me just thinks it's a fans thing. Still, enough of the masses I really don't have fans. Like enough time we go party and I'm not saying. But that is the whole premise the, behind it. The where fans the, them. What the gully fans them there? I mean, I see nobody put it on like. Them days they're done, you know. The fuck. You see, Gully and Gaza fans them, right? Them days there is done, right? You will still have a whole lot set of people that rate cartel and a set of people that rate Movado. But nowadays we're in a time where the fans them. Them a flip flop. Them them a run with this and money. Tomorrow them run with that. Them Monday, bro. Them fa them we turn in as some idiot, bro. You have to know lucky in and say watch ya. Me not do no song for just this little circle of people. I say you know. Me feel like 
when Skilly Beng take a little break and wasn't putting out as much songs and whatever, this man is focusing on crossing over into other... What you want to do? You just want to play for the same set of people. You want to perform for mm -hmm. the same set of people. No. You want to put your music in other spaces that is, is going to make you a, a worldwide artist now. So what you got to do? Sit down and say, Jano, Skilly, him not hot to All right, he may be not hot, but guess what? He might try to break down some barriers where everybody else coward for go over this. You see me? The man them coward for go perform for 300 people. Well, guess what? I said, I said this at the beginning of the interview. When him prove to the first 10 set of man them, everybody are going to want to follow him in, in thing. You see True. me? But nobody now going to follow him roadmap from day one because they don't believe. You see me? You think Burner Boy and Wizkid and all of them man there and David and whatever. You think them just end up reaching us hey, by the years. The man them are kick down door there, sir. Kick down door there, sir. You see me? When me I try to put out my music now, me no want to just put out music for one little diaspora alone, bro. I want to think and reach on a level. You see me? So me I work with all different type of artists. Me I try to really build something where I know say, watch out. If the artist you now hot at the moment, people over there are still going to appreciate it. Yeah. You see me? And that's the thing. The man them right now though, them not depend on that. Look how much artists we see boss and them don't go for a visa. And them comfortably I saw that nature, I tell you. You see me? That is a major, that is a major key to me that these people are not interested in building something bigger than local. You get me? Getting a visa, you know how much people suppose I say, how many in England I'm gonna see this artist a forward, or I'm gonna see that them on the forward. Bro, I'm not responsive me I go over there and, and, and show 10 people my music, you know. Guess what? Me I go, you know. Because them 10 people, I got 10, 10 more and whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And so me I go, you see me? Rather than me sit down and say, I hope, say, the, 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 the little people, them locally, I got to support my thing to the fullest. Because guess what? The same set of people where did I support Skeng, they must support Valiant now or whoever is next, you see me? You have another set of art, bro. Tomorrow, our next person, I'm going to be the, the, the talk of the town, you know. Because guess what? Everybody get them 15 minutes. All right? We're not alive still. Valiant is, is performing really well. So, him past 15 minutes and him gone 30 or 45 minutes right now. You see me? Mm -hmm. And we respect that. Now, it's going to be up to him where him carry him career. You see me? It's going to be up to Skeng now. Skeng did get him. More than 15, too. More than 15. Him get more than 15, mm -hmm. right? We are going to see what him are going to put together now. Because him give you an EP. Some people, they love it. Some people never really saw 100 upon it. I guess the performance have a lot to do with it to the, the little night where him did sick or whatever. But when him are going to put out an album now and show, we say, yo, watch him. Me I want big bumbo clot artist. I'm there so for stay. That I got prove to the people. Then. You see me? And that we need to see. The artists, them now just put out some singles, them are gonna be like career. Me feel like that is what we need. Shensia, she did a try to be like career when she made the move, them what she make. What she got to do? Stand up and say, I sing the same set of song, them Shengen and them and them things for the same set of, do some school tour and whatever. No, nah, bro. Crossover. Show us anything bigger than where it there. You see me? We have more people with that mindset there. The culture are gonna flourish. Believe me. Well, with that being said, this is Let's Be Honest. We out. Oh, wait. The bad intro. Do you have people can find him, my boy? Let's be honest. What is, what is Instagram? No, we well, can't find you. you, know. you, see, find oh, you me. Yo, yeah, mix me up in a dog. <laughs> All right, you can find me at Troublemaker and you can find him. Pal. Let's be honest. Or, um, no, I'm not about me, man. I'm not finding you. What, what, what the next one we have? Toxic Talk. Toxic Talk. You see me? <laughs> so I'll get them over there, so. I don't know the music fans them over, let's be honest. Oh, God. How long was that, Jeff? Yeah?